What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be doing a video on my 2019 Audi A6. And today we're basically gonna review it cause I've been wanting to do this video, but I wanted to wait till I've officially owned it a year. So I, it's been officially a year. I bought this car back last April and now it's April. So I'm gonna be doing a review. And I wanted to do this video because when I was buying the car, I was doing my research and stuff and all the videos I seen was just like dealerships reviewing it, basically trying to sell me the car. They didn't show anything that's bad, anything that's good. Like oh, they only showed what's good, not bad. So I'm going to be getting into every little detail about this car. And so far, I love it. And I'm going to have a little cameraman for y'all so y'all can. Yeah. So the first topic is going to be maintenance. Maintenance, all I, have, all I had to do throughout the year was oil changes. And oil changes can run you from 150 to 200 dollars if you go to a shop but what i did was i invested in a little tool i'm gonna show y'all come walk with me <laughs> show them the chicks i just bought these from tractor supply i don't know what i'm gonna do with them but is he hot but okay come on so this is what i bought from Harbor Freight, it cost me about a hundred dollars. And what, what this basically is, it sucks the oil out of the engine because these cars don't have drain plugs. So you'll stick this little thing in uh, the fake dipstick, you remove the cap, stick it in and just pump it out. And it's really way easier than jacking up the car and all that. So I really recommend y'all invest into that because it's gonna, one, save you a lot of money. And it's really easy. It takes like 30, 40 minutes to change the oil. Most of the time you're just waiting for the oil to get pumped up. So that's really all I had to do when it comes to maintenance. Of course, there has been a couple of problems where it was my fault. The first example will be show them the wheel. So y'all see how this wheel is almost touching. So basically I was driving a little reckless and I kissed the curb and it messed up my whole control arm. My lower control arm, both of them messed them up. So I replaced one of them but it was still the same. And so the mechanic told me, oh, you actually messed up the second one too. And I've been meaning to get the second one fixed, but I just haven't had the time, but it still drives, it still like, it does everything you needed to just rub sometimes when you break hard. So don't break hard. So yeah, that's really it. And then I lost my keys, cost me $800 to get a new key and program it. So it's just, if you don't mess up, then it should just be the only the oil changes. And mind you, I have put over 20,000 miles on this car in this one year, which is crazy. And there hasn't been no engine lights, no no mechanical problems because of the mileage or because of like the distance I drive. It's just been my fault. And one other problem is I have to recharge the AC with Freon every six, months three months something like that because there's a minor uh leak in the ac lines and i just can't find the leak and i've been meaning to get that fixed but i just haven't had time because with the kenworth with everything going on i just haven't had time to work on my own car i just get in and drive it and i know she's a little dirty right now i'll show you so this is the inside guys she's a little dirty because you know i drive everywhere with this like this is basically my work truck so, you see the screens, everything. You see no lights. Because I bought this car. Hold on, let me close the door. It's loud. I bought this car with about low, low, no, high 30. Like, it was like 39,000 miles on it when I bought this car. Now it's at 63, so I put... I put a lot of miles on this and y'all see there's no problem. Everything runs fine. And yeah, this is the little tour. I'm not going to do too much because, you know, it's dirty. But I love this car, man. It's comfortable. It's luxurious. It's everything you would want in an Audi. So basically, this car has been very reliable for the Audi. You know, they get bad track record because they're and they're German, they're hard to work on, which they are. And the parts do cost a lot. Like the control arm, I spent 300 plus 200 labor. So 500 to replace one, 
the keys I already told y'all eight hundred dollars and the oil change a lot but if you do the oil change yourself it's gonna be like changing a regular car oil and one thing is that back left uh passenger side the back uh door the child lock is automatic like it's permanently on so you can only open it from the outside not the inside it came like that i, I contacted them about it they they offered no solution they just told me they did they didn't really offer a solution they just told me to come by and they'll fix it with no charge but i just haven't had the time and i live really far from the in austin they only have two dealerships and they're all scattered around town man it's only two dealerships that the whole central austin goes to and so they're really busy they barely have time to do anything so yeah i just didn't want to do all that because nobody sits in the back anyways i don't need to fix that or anything but yeah it's been really reliable I, I love it and you know from all the audis i had i had this is my third audi all the audis i had they really haven't cost me no major problems that i didn't you know make happen if i just left the cars alone they really were just cars you know they didn't they didn't break down on me they didn't i wasn't driving and it just broke down or anything everything is good and it it has pretty good gas mileage guys well, full tank gives you about 600 miles to drive and you get 28 miles per gallon depending how you drive if you're just going 100 miles per hour every day then of course it's going to be around 18 something like that but if you drive like a regular person 28 miles per gallon and you get 600 miles in total if you fill it up and to fill it up you got to put premium so it's about 68 dollars depending on where you're at but over here to fill it up is for me it's about 60 low 60 high 60 never went above that but yeah man it's it's a good car to have i recommend y'all get so it. now i'm gonna do like a full 360 around the car so this is the front you know, engine. Everything looks good, man. I love this car. This car looks clean. I like the A5. I had a 2019 A5. But I traded in for this because I just wanted something bigger. You know, this is more sporty. This is the back with all my work stuff. Work jacket, everything. And in my opinion, this little splatter thing you got going on, it kind of looks clean. Because if y'all didn't know, all these are made for off-road. Don't quote me on that, but in my opinion, they are, man. They handle really good in the dirt, gravel, mud. I've been I've been places where other cars been stuck, but my Audi just floated through it. And this is the A6, but it's not the V6 3.0. It is the 2.0T. And... In my opinion, the 2.0T is a better engine because it's extremely reliable and it's good on gas. But yeah, this is it's basically her, man. She looks amazing. Okay, guys, that's really going to conclude the video. It's a short video, I know. I just wanted to show y'all everything about the Audi. But if y'all want me to do more videos on the Audi, like if y'all want me to customize it, take the mufflers off, you know, just make it, tune it, because they do have a lot of tunes for these cars. Upgrade the turbo. If y'all want me to do that, I'm, I'm open to do it. But I just haven't had no time. But I should, this summer, you know, I should have enough time. You know, during the weekends, I'll just put little upgrades on it. But, you know, the only thing I really did is just the rims. The rims look better that way. But, yeah, guys, that's really it. But, uh, yeah, if you want me to do, you know, 0 to 60s, inner, uh, uh fucking zero to 100 whatever i'll do it just comment down below but thank you for tuning in and then the kenworth will be coming back monday or tuesday which is two three days from now i don't know when i'm gonna upload this but and so y'all will be able to see the wet kit and then i will be able to take the side skirts off so i'll do a tutorial on that and i'm almost at a point where i need to change the oil again so i'll show y'all how to properly change the oil on these cars. Peace.